We recently circled back to tackle a question we've been working towards answering for the last few years. When used in a real-world environment, how wear-resistant really are the nylon and TPU rubber materials that are available for the multi-jet fusion 3D printers? Our first attempts at answering this question were done by setting up a simple machine that would grind a misaligned aluminum block into the side of a nylon nest. After that, we reset and did the same thing with a chrome Mustang logo and a TPU rubber nest. The results showed that both materials were quite wear resistant, but questions around long duration extreme wear resistance kept coming up in conversations with our customers. The test we came up with was simple. Grab onto a metal part that had the most aggressive surface finish possible and move it back and forth between two nests for one million cycles, then measure the wear. The part we ended up going with was a one inch steel socket head cap screw. We felt that grabbing onto the sharp edges of its threads would be a reasonable approximation for the worst case scenario gripper fingers like these would see in the real world. As a little added bonus, we decided to build the test cell with as many MJF parts as possible. This included the door hinges, safety interlock mount, cable and airline management clips, and all the cylinder mounts that held the pick and place gantry assembly together. Over the course of five months, this test cell ran almost continuously, with the exception of a few days while getting shipped so it could make appearances in the HP booth at both Automate in Detroit and IMTS in Chicago. After we had tested all three materials we offer on the MJF machines, to 1 million cycles in the test cell. We scanned them all to see which material held up the best. The Nylon 12 glass bead gripper finger showed the most wear with about 13 thousandths in the worst areas. But these were also the gripper fingers that were put on the machine first and were used while programming the machine so they suffered through multiple crashes while the bugs were worked out. The straight nylon 12 gripper finger looked better with only about 10 thousandths of wear in the worst area. The TPU rubber gripper fingers did the best out of the batch with only around 7 thousandths of wear. Our guess as to why they did the best out of all the materials is that the TPU will flex around the sharps of the threads and this cuts down on abrasion which causes wear. Also, as an added bonus, keep in mind that this TPU rubber material is Class A safe and will not damage parts that are painted, chrome plated, or have a glossy molded finish. Lastly, a quick review of the nests that we used for the testing. These were also printed, and while they were not subject to any misalignment, the Nylon 12 nest on the left was used for 2 million cycles, and the TPU rubber nest on the right was used for 1 million cycles. Neither nest is showing any signs of degradation. Also, the test cell itself ran over 3 million cycles without any issues related to the printed cylinder mounts. In conclusion, we feel this test definitively proves the viability of 3D printed parts made out of both nylon 12 and TPU rubber for end use applications requiring a long service life as well as excellent wear resistance.